meeting of the resident council. Judy, may we start? Since Eve is in Oakland, I am going to lead the pledge. So stand up, Abel, and then you ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Chapel Bless. Please open us in prayer. It's good to see you. Um, just before I open it for, I'd like to remind you that, uh, that the July issue of Chapel News is available, and I would invite you to, to grab a copy, read it over. In this particular issue, I have an article about resilience. Like, why do some people bounce back after crisis and other people have a hard time bouncing back after crisis? And there's a lot of material out there in the literature about that. So what I've done in this issue of Chapel News is write a brief article about some of the, about a couple of the theoretical things that are out there based on studies that have been happening in regard to this notion of resilience, just being able to bounce back and deal with crisis. So that's in the Chapel News, it's in the Post. I invite you to uh, grab a copy and read it. Let's pray. Eternal and transcendent God, God of the universe and God of the human spirit, we acknowledge your presence in our lives, and we acknowledge your presence as we gather together in this meeting. We ask that you will give us an overwhelming spirit of politeness, help us to see the spirit of unity enhanced among us, help us to be exceedingly productive, and help us to work towards the good of the whole. We pray all of these things in your name, amen. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of the June meeting? No. no. Is there a second? Gary? Is there any discussion or corrections? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. The minutes are approved. Debbie? Hi everyone. Happy Monday, unless that's an oxymoron. So I hear, before I got here, um, back before COVID, happy hour here used to be the place to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, here I know, yeah. But it's not so much right now. We're looking to get a little bit of life back in our happy hour. So we are asking for volunteers. Um, anybody who wants to serve water, sodas, fetch wine from the wine lockers, just a little bit more conviviality and Hopefully a few more people come down for a happy hour. So if you're interested in being a volunteer, I think we've already gotten a couple for Thursday, so we need every other day. Just Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday is all we need. Okay, that's good news. Just need a Monday and a Tuesday bartender. Uh, personal mobility equipment repair. The maintenance team is requesting that if you've got existing equipment that is altering you take it to a certified repair shop, they would feel terrible if something happened with one of their repairs that went amiss. However, if you do some, have something new that just needs assembly, they can do that for you. Pool table. We had a beautiful old pool table, but the operational word is it was old and it had pockets that had holes in them. And so balls would fall out everywhere. So, Put a bucket, like just like a drip, put a bucket under each pocket. Because that was no longer feasible, we actually were able to get a really, really good deal on a beautiful new table. So we've got a new pool table for those of you who 
enjoy or who would like to learn? The salad bar versus the orchard. So I've gotten a lot of responses um, and I also have some questions like, well, you already said it was going to be open on July 17th, which we did because we ran a test and the motor runs and it works well. The idea was though, if we had a response where you all wanted the orchard, the private dining room instead, keep in mind that takes a few months with design and planning and purchasing materials and planning the demolition of the salad bar, etc. So we figured in the meantime, we might as well have a salad bar open. Now today is last day for surveys and I've got quite a few um, and I will make the announcement on, well, I guess this Friday's Friday memo and then also at town hall um, so that everyone's aware of what we voted on as a, as a team. Mosquitoes, uh, it is the season and it's supposed to be a bad season. We are having the pest control company do the monthly mosquito treatments. I know that Ethan has also hung zappers in the courtyards, um, but please let the front desk know if you get a bite and if you notice where it happened, that would be even more helpful so we could put additional resources there. Transportation, a lot of folks now are requiring transportation to doctor's appointments. And so as you can imagine, the drivers are pretty busy. They're pretty booked up and scheduled pretty, pretty much every minute, which makes it really challenging if they have to escort you or provide care uh, to get you to your appointment. So please make sure you either have a family member or we can recommend a private caregiver for you to attend if you need additional assistance. We are not able to safely ambulate to and from your doctor's office. Town Hall is scheduled for Friday, July 21st at 10 a.m. here. And I don't really wanna leave it on a sad note, but um, we've had two residents recently pass away. The Seymour passed on July 3rd, and Donna Grubb in Summer House passed away this morning. Yeah, so very sad, but it wasn't original. So if you see their family members, please um, share your condolences. And I think that's all I have, unless anyone has questions. Hi, Bob. Um, you were saying about happy hour uh, and drinks. Are they going to resume serving iced tea and lemonade? Yes. Well, I they have they have sodas and water. I will ask him and see if they have iced tea and lemonade that the, yeah. can be available. It was discussed at the, the meeting. The uh, food bank. I think she's she'll do a she's going to redo that. I'll double check. Okay. I'll double check. They already did it according to Marilyn. Lemonade, iced tea, soda, and water. And cranberry juice. Looks like it's on. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Linda, do you have a report? Linda, do you have anything to report? You're all done. Here are the financials for uh, June and the totals that we have. Um, Resident Council operating fund is diminished down to nine dollars, uh, and earthquake committee has no money in it uh, effectively. The music committee is showing a total of fourteen thousand six hundred and nine dollars. Uh, the employee appreciation fund, of course, has not changed over several months, and we will be uh, asking for money and donations for that later in the fall. It's now. Uh, stands at $87,774. Uh, the Musical Theater Birthday Show Committee has $33,362. The Hobby Shop has the same amount that it's had for months and months and months of $192. Um, Clay's Art Studio, $285, $286. Scholarship Fund uh, with a total of $45,036. So all, all totals that we have now in accounts uh, that we control, uh, $181,270. Any questions?
Thank you, Jeff. Okay, we'll now have our committee reports. Dining and Food Services, Mary Claridge. Okay. Uh, Put the mic on. on. Services and happy hour are updates are all included in Debbie's uh, Walnut Village community <coughs> update, which is distributed in everybody's mail slot or comes by email. Other <coughs> considerations beyond Debbie's um, update are the survey regarding the salad bar versus the larger dining area, which we'll know soon. And the happy hour appetizers will be restocked after 5.30 only by request. In addition to feedback sheets, you may email Kim Norton with both concerns and compliments. Meatless Mon Monday, question was asked if we could have meatless soup on that day too. So that's for considering. Today we're yeah. having potato. Potatoes. Potato, yes. Uh, comments were made related to the monthly birthday cake, both the one that comes down the aisle and um, the birthday cake that's served. And the last uh, consideration <coughs> had to do with food concerns and suggestions about possible new food options like the fried green beans which are now being served. Thank you. Thank you. Ellen, hospitality. During the month of June, we welcomed two new residents to Walnut Village. On June 1st, Linda Townsend moved in to apartment 384. Linda's husband will be moving when he finishes up the downsizing. They moved from Downey and are friends of Merlin and Marilyn Evans. On June 6th, Nancy Messenger moved into apartment 147, and Nancy moved in from Fullerton. I hope you've had an opportunity to meet our new residents. Their phone numbers and email addresses have been added to the resident directory on the table in the post on the front sheet. Our committee also helped with the marketing event during the month of June, and we hope that some of the guests will be joining us as residents in the near future. Joan House sent out five get well cards and one sympathy card during the month, and one prayer shawl was completed in June. Reminders, if you're interested in knitting or crocheting, contact Patricia Lutz, and she will help you with some yarn that has been donated if you don't have any yarn. Uh, her phone number is in the resident directory that you have or the one in the post if you can't find yours. Um, if you can find Joan, Howe, uh, Joan Howe's phone number also in the directory, if you know of someone who is sick that hasn't been reported through Dick Gray's uh, email, and she would appreciate a phone call to let you know, let us know, so she can send out a get well card. Thank you. Okay, next report would be library, and Michelle Foyd resigned as library chair effective July 1st. However, she submitted a report for this meeting. The executive board has not yet announced a new chair. The library staff continues on with Terry Taylor and Marilyn Raymond offering interim leadership. In the meantime, all the library volunteers, including Kathy Stanick, Carol Marsh, Phil Northern, Joy LaRue, and Robin Smith, will help you find what you need in the library and help bring things to you when you're confined at home. Robin will manage the Kindles, Terry oversees media and manages the order of the overall collection, Phil will work on statistics and signage, Kathy will contribute to the newsletter and the bulletin boards. Carol will read to those who enjoy st storytelling from any book they want. 
Joy will brighten up your day by listening to what's going on for you. Everyone will be there to look after you and the collection. As a reading aid, book lists will start appearing for separate collections like the Arts and Crafts book, True Crime, Music, Poetry, and the multi-author section. Please check your DVD players for one of our missing DVDs. Please join us at our 1 p.m. library meeting on August 17th, the third Thursday of the month, unless otherwise announced, and bring your ideas. The book club meets on the second Tuesday of the month, this week it'll be July 11th, at 10.30 in the Red Chair Lounge. Come discuss Peter Mail's A Year in Provence. On one shelf of the reference and research collection facing the library desk holds the overflow of the large print miscellaneous book collection. Our shelf space is limited. Contact Director of Wellbeing, Ryan Fillingame, to register your use of the DACOM computer in the library or to install the DACOM software on your computer at home. The DACOM software promotes strengthening of cognitive skills. It is reassuring that the library staff will keep things running smoothly until the executive board appoints a new chair. We want to thank Michelle for her dedication to the library and wish her and George all the best in their new home in Northridge. Okay, now we will hear from the music committee, Judy Banks. Testing, is this good? Okay. Um, we hope you enjoyed the two programs that our resident musicians gave recently. The Chimers Summer Program was on Tuesday, June 27th, with narration by Carol Herzog. The Chorale sang on Saturday, July 1, with a program celebrating Americana, and it included two guest soloists and several sing-alongs for the audience. The Chimers' next appearance will be at a Sunday morning church service in the future. The Chorale will start rehearsing um, on the 19th for their next concert, um, which will be on September 23rd. That'll be a Saturday, as usual. Here's an update for our search for a replacement for Dee Morrison. Dee retired voluntarily due to eyesight difficulties as director of the Walnut Village Chimers following the June program. She will become the manager of the Chimers and assist a new director. Our search focuses on people with experience as a player or director of a handbell choir. I should explain to those of you who don't know that sheet music for handbell players and chime players are the same. And there are more handbell choirs than there are chime groups. So when we're recruiting, we're looking for someone with a handbell experience. Dee put out the word with a woman she knows at Southern California Handbell Association. That woman referred us to the professor who supervises the four handbell choirs at Concordia University in Irvine. We also contacted several churches from the leads that residents gave us. And we found three candidates, and I thought you'd be interested to know this um, little bit of history. The first one was at Bob Shoup's La Habra Methodist Church. She was willing to come, but she could only come on Thursday. And Thursday is the day we have birthday show, so we couldn't change our rehearsal. We thanked her for considering our position. The second one is an organist at Trinity Presbyterian Church in Santa Ana, Tustin, and a lifelong handbell player. We found her through Marilyn and Merlin Evans. She auditioned, and the chimers really liked her. She took home a contract to give it some thought. But in the end, she decided that her schedule for her senior year at Concordia plus Trinity Presbyterian was going to be too full. The third candidate learned about our position from the handbell professor at Concordia. Candidate number three will be a junior at Concordia University working on a music degree with an emphasis on church music with a violin concentration. He came to the June 27th Chimers program to hear them, and he wasn't scared off, and he's going to come back and audition with the Chimers tomorrow. Um, and that may be more than you needed to know, but I'm personally fascinated by the process of locating a candidate through informal channels. 
when you only need someone for an hour and a half a week. <laughs> There's nowhere you can advertise for someone that you need an hour and a half a week. <laughs> Um, because Concordia has four handbill choirs, we have not exhausted our talent pool yet, but we do hope that candidate number three will be a good choice so we can stop looking. Thanks to those of you who gave us leads. Are there any questions? Okay. There isn't a one and a hour half bulletin anywhere? Really? No? <laughs> All right, hello there. I didn't oh, call her name. You didn't call, oh, sorry. <laughs> Musical theater. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Right, right, right. A little humor never hurt nobody, right? Okay. All right. Coming up this Thursday, we have a birthday show. This birthday show will be Beth Sussman. You know, we've heard her a couple of times. She's pretty good. Uh, she's going to be. <laughs> okay. She's excellent. All right. We're going to honor America's Fourth of July and the French Bastille days on the piano, so we'll have a little bit of different music from this side and that side of the oh, Pacific, Atlantic, sorry. Anyway, um, that's what's happening on Thursday. Hope you can all make it. We're gonna, we want a full house, 140 people, please. All right, and then of course, we're still looking for volunteers. So if you're interested, please contact me or Liz, and you, you can find us somewhere around the village. So thank you, and we'll talk to you then. Thank you. Uh, many of you know that uh, our uh, leader, Ethan, has been uh, uh, deployed, I guess, to Europe to solve their problems. And he and his wife and daughter over there have solved those problems. They're back on campus here. If he can solve European problems, he should be able to take care of ours, right? We've missed him. Nice to have him back. As you have uh, discovered, uh, the flowers and the shrubs are absolutely beautiful around here. The temperature is going up, so enjoy them now. Uh, there's, some, there's always items to be done. If you submitted some items there and it hasn't been done, it's taken care of in order of priorities, and I'm sure will be done. Uh, but it's just beautiful now. The automatic door opener has been installed in the red chair lounge. There's some people that have not realized it's there, so if you see them kind of trying to get in, why well, you might go over and point out that it's right there. Just push a button and it will be let in. Uh, Bill Storr uh, or, uh, helped out here with the railings uh, over here. We heard that uh, there was not some... Not in here, it's on the first thing. Pardon? Movable steps. It's on the portable steps. On the portable steps, yes. Yeah. And tighten that down. Was it a little tighter than it has been? We haven't used it yet. Oh, you haven't used well, it. Uh, those that used it reported good uh, reports. Uh, so. uh, a lot of uh, work is going on with the lights in the halls. You may wonder what is going on there. They have some lights to uh, that will stay on in case of emergency. And they're putting some fixtures in that will pull a little less uh, voltage as well. Uh, please continue to submit your work orders to the welcome desk and they take it in, and take care of them in accordance with uh, priority there and necessity and needs. Any questions that uh, you might have? Thank you very much. Please continue to submit your requests over there. It's working out well. Bye. Thank Give you, Virginia. Give it to Virginia. Virginia. Scholarship, Virginia Pickering. Hello, everyone. Do I? Yes, there you are. At our last meeting, uh, we had two scholarship recipients, uh, applications, Guillermo and Syed Sotilo. And uh, Judy already has given you a picture of them uh, in your calendar uh, as they were being awarded. Uh, Guillermo, $2,500, and 
Syed 2000. So our, our awards are going up as school costs go up. But presenting that was uh, Jimmy Kennedy. Jimmy's here today. Jimmy, I'd like you to come up. Scooter and all, if you can get through. Jimmy deserves to be in front of the group because while he's coming, he has tendered his retirement. It's been difficult, but he has been with the committee since the formation in 2011. At that time, he was advisory because uh, he was president. I wasn't here, but I know from the picture and the word, he was president of the resident council for two terms, and a lot of things uh, productive went on. Uh, also, Judy has already given tribute to Jimmy for his work in starting the Earthquake Committee. But he has continued, Jimmy, we've appreciated as a voting member of the Scholarship Committee and has given us uh, all kinds of good advice. So I would like, for those who can, a standing ovation. He doesn't need more plaques and things. He's got all those. For Jimmy Kennedy. We have a meeting right after this meeting. Thank you, Virginia. Judy Blythe and Richmond. Here. Here you are. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking way in the back. Judy. Hello, everybody. Our 4th of July celebration was awesome. Everybody truly enjoyed it. The music was great. The fireworks were awesome, scary, but really, really loud. They continued until like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, but it, it was really nice. So we continue to celebrate all of our different holidays as they come. No one can say that we're not doing anything because we are truly become extremely active. Um, we are going to the Angel Game uh, this Friday night. Um, I am full. Hmm? Okay, yeah, and I have a big group going. But it's also Donut Day, and um, it's Bill Selvig's Celebration of Life at 10.30 here um, in the chapel. And there is a sign-up sheet. Uh, if you have an interest and you want to go to that, the sign-up sheet is at the welcome desk. There really isn't any limit uh, to the amount of people that can come. So just sign up so it's a good reminder to you that that event is coming. Uh, let's see. Movies we're doing. We're going to bring them all. Uh, we have West Coast Pops coming. They have been coming here, I'd say, maybe eight years. We kind of are nine years. We had a resident whose husband used to play in the group. Um, Ann Young, and she brought us here, brought them here many years ago, and they have continued to come, and they're going to play playing in the courtyard, and they will be here on the 16th, Sunday the 16th, at 7 p.m. Uh, out in the courtyard. Um, it's well worth that hour or hour and a half. This year it's a marketing event, so there will also be outsiders at the event. So please come and listen. Listen to some really wonderful music. Tonight we have Beach City Band. Beach City Band will be playing in the courtyard as well. Um, I'm just going to set up some folding chairs because I have no idea how many people are going to come. Uh, but it will be out uh, in the Bistro Courtyard. Um, I like doing outdoor things. It's easier for people to get to that courtyard than it is to, to come into here. So we're going to do that tonight. They already know, uh, so they'll bring lights. Um, going to bring, going to go to Graham Mall. Um, I have a new resident welcome. I don't know if we have any new residents here. I will send out invitations. Next, next. 
Nessie, okay, Nancy, I will send out, um, I'll send out invitations to everybody who is a new resident. So not only do I want the new residents, I need the old residents to come and welcome them to this wonderful community. We have the craft classes. I'm gonna let Patty talk about her event. We are going to the Cheesecake Factory on the 28th. Um, and also, as you all know, I have been, I am planning a trip, a three day, excuse me, four day, three night trip to Sedona. It will be a bus trip. Mario is driving. He called me today to confirm the fact. Every time I see his name, I oh God, what he's going to tell me now. But yes, he is driving. He will be going with us. Um, I had a phone call this morning and somebody said they did not give them a sheet uh, and a, a sign-up sheet. Everybody, I can't give you anything if you don't sign up. I am, you know, a pretty good mind reader, but I can't absolutely, you know, read your mind about that. So if you have an interest to go and I haven't given you a sheet, uh, I have some, they'll be in the uh, post and you can pick them up. It's an excellent, excellent iter itinerary. Should not be a lot of walking, a lot of eye candy. Absolutely gorgeous eye candy. If you've never been to Sedona, this is your opportunity to go um, and, and have a really wonderful trip. If you have gone before, come back with us again because it's really fun to go with your neighbors. It's a good time to make new friends and keep the old. Um, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you. Yes, oh yes. We have a butterfly release. We have been doing butterfly, we've been doing releases. We released one this morning, and I think Jean has done three already. We have another little guy here. I haven't looked at it to see if it's male or female. They're eating us out of house and home. Every week I have to go and buy more milkweed, even though I've won all that milkweed. They are, they eat ravishly. Um, I have five, uh, little caterpillars on a plant that I have at home. And I know by the time I get home, there's not going to be anything left on that plant. And I'm going to have five very, very hungry caterpillars. All right, so we'll do the release right after this, and then you're going to come to bingo at two. Judy, the release is on the circle. Yeah, we're going to do the release right out here on the circle. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right, I'm going to hold on to this so I can walk this Judy, this is your car. Thank you, Judy. Um, Patty, would you please present what your program is going to be like? Mobility devices. Oh, there's another one. Patty's going to make an announcement, but I asked her to say that it's going to. We have a lot of people that are uh, planning to come. The room can hold about 50 people, uh, and I'm asking if you have a mobility device, please come early. Don't come you know, while we're beginning, because that way, if you come while we're beginning, I can't get you situation, situated. So please come early. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, just a follow up on what I've talked to you before. I went over and checked out to see how many people had signed up for the three Saturdays in July. And right now we have 36 signed up for Saturday of the 15th. Only 22 for the 22nd, which is the mortuary. Um, and I can tell you that there's things that you probably have never thought about in relationship to the mortuary. And one of the things that I realize is I get information from those who will be speaking is, it's amazing what we don't know we don't know. And so the only way to, to know those things is to come. So um, I have the sheets here today and I'm gonna put them up on the table that when we get done, if you want to come, and I encourage you to have your trustee or executor come also, if it's possible, 
because it will be one of the greatest gifts you ever give them. And they will be here then that they can ask questions of the speakers themselves that they have. Um, on July 29th, the financial duties and responsibilities, we have a retired first vice president of a major global bank coming, and um, we have 39 signed up so far for that. So uh, Judy told me today that we can have up to 50 in the room, and that's, the, that's it. So if you don't sign up and we get to 50, can't come. If you don't sign up, you may not get a notebook because we're by, we're getting notebooks, and I have to or, get those ordered in the next couple of days. So um, I'll be going by the number of people who have signed up, and there will be one notebook for each family. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, come on up and sign up if you haven't. And if you have any questions, give me a call. I think um, you'll be very, very satisfied with um, the information that you'll be getting. Thank you. I have to add something. Before you sign up, make sure you haven't already signed up. So oh, look at the list. Yes, I brought the list over. So if you can't remember if you signed up or not, Look at the list for each date and see if your name is on there. I also have a place today if you want to sign up for the two that are in August that you could sign your name. Um, those aren't, haven't been signed up for yet. But Judy will have those in the activity book when she puts out the activity book for August. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Is there any other old business? Is there any new business? Are there any questions? Then this meeting is adjourned. Come outside.